I'm at the Selby Syndicate in North Yorkshire. Water that was made famous by Julian Cundiff in the 1990s. There's several islands to fish to, as well as some snaggy areas and some reedy bays, as well as some absolutely stunning lily pads. And one tactic that's been doing extremely well for myself is, is heron stalking and that's basically just standing in a bush keeping as quiet as you possibly can waiting for the fish to move in and basically just dropping a bait on on the nose of the fish and away we go and I'm going to have a look at that tactic now during a few little video clippings that I've taken during the summer months I'm not sure if you can see this but I've got Probably half a dozen nice fish cruising around just below the surface, taking the odd mixer. That is how close they are to my feet, they're right down there. Just in a nice, a nice dirty as well. Nice common down there, about 22. Some nice fish in the swim now. I think I've seen a fish called Rosie, which is just over 30. Uh, that's a 20 plus down there. Nice common. It's probably difficult for you to see because I've got no polarizing lens on this uh, this camera. But the camera's actually at my eye level now. So. Uh, what you're seeing is what I'm seeing, apart from I've got a pair of Polaroids on. A nice little mirror, there's two decent fish there now. Decent common. Little mirror. That's a little mirror about 18 pounds, just taking mixes down here. That's right. Uh, less than a, half a rod length out that is. They're very, very confident on the mixes. But hopefully we can single out a better fish because there are, are one or two thirties kicking around here. That one's well on them now, the mixers are well confident. I'm using a real small five and a half foot stalking rod that I've purposely made for me and the idea is that I'm going to try and single out one of these fish nice common and a couple of little mirrors down here that's the common over the back You can see my hook bait now in the shot and it's a common around about 20 pounds just circling just in front of it. Now if I really wanted to catch that fish when it next comes up some mixers I could quite easily just drop this right on its nose and bang her away. And this is the tactic that I've been using on this lake is just selecting the bigger fish, the ones that I want to catch and then bang off we go. Takes a bit of time bit of perseverance but it's worth it. Right below me now. A couple of three of them. I don't know which one that is. But that's very catchable. I could just drop this hook bait now right on that nose. Look at it. Right on that fish's nose and a bang we're away. So confident. Super confident fish. Don't we? Already, look at that. Straight off. Bang. 
put that fish back where we go. I must have put the camera down there. Rosie in the end, 30 pound 12, or well, I think it's Rosie anyway, still a fight, uh, taking off the top, two mixes, and uh, probably after about an hour of stalking it, there's quite a few fish in the swim, and uh, up she came and off she went, and there she goes. She's about to go. Lovely fish. I thought it was here because I could see on the white. The white marks on its back, it's very, uh, it's got like a fungus on its back. Yeah, where the scales are. Yeah, somebody it? told me about that. There she goes. Go on, stay there for a bit of pictures. Oh, 